Are you interested in cutting your own curtain bangs or layering your hair, but you don't want to spend a lot of money at a salon? Well, today's video is going to teach you just that. Let's jump right in. I'm going to be showing how I cut this hair and layered it and just make it really pretty, bouncy, ready, honey. Yes, <laughs> I wanted to try it. This is definitely a trending style this spring and I can see why it's absolutely gorgeous. Like it does so much for just a simple style. And this today is a straight style. So as you can see, it transformed, okay? If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you are not new and you are joining me back, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Thumbs up the video. But before we get into the styling, I wanna share with you this wig and all of the details. The wig in today's video comes from Super B Wigs. It will be linked below in the description box and I will also throw a discount code down there. So today's style is a straight style and it's the perfect wig to add volume to. This is a 13 by six lace wig, meaning you can part it anywhere where the lace is. The hairline on this wig is absolutely gorgeous prior to me doing anything to it. And again, the wig is a straight style and perfect for adding volume with layers. So let's jump right in. Go ahead and just comb out the curls that I I put into this hair and we are going to reset this whole style i'm going to change up the parting so before we get started let me just say this is going to be my variation of creating bangs i am not an expert at cutting hair however i think i know how to get things done without leaving our expertise and stuff like i have my ways around things so all right so i'm gonna set this parting of course for the middle so i'm gonna go ahead and create that middle part now when i do this i want to make sure that my parting is centered correctly because if it's off then my bang is gonna set off to the side and I definitely don't want that I mean you can have that but today I'm going for that center part I'm gonna try to create a clean straight part don't hold me to that though <laughs> all right I think that's as good as I'm gonna get it now, because I'm doing this style on a wig, if you are watching this video and you're not wearing a wig, but you're watching because you wanna know how to do the curtain bang, some steps you see me do, you probably will not need to do. Like for instance, the hot comb, you may or may not choose to use it. You probably don't need it. But for this wig to get this parting to lay flat, I need to do this. So I'm gonna just go ahead and flatten down this part, section off the top half that I am going to use for my bang area on both sides the way you can create your bang is you can one create it without adding layers to your hair or you can choose to add layers so what i think i'm gonna do since this wig is a 22 inch make sure that's even from side to side also you don't want it to be uneven okay it's even go in on the sides and just cut long layers now i'm not going to go crazy and create super short layers here. I just want enough where the ends of the hair will kind of gravitate up to the bang. So I'm gonna take about this much of the hair and I'm going to take a razor. Now you can use scissors. However, I think a razor gives a more feathered look and you can use a hair razor, a comb razor and I'm gonna cut at an angle like this, okay? So you wanna go back like that. and I'm going down. So I'm going from shortest to longest. I'm not cutting it in one chop. I think that's perfect right there. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Make sure it matches. You wanna make sure that both sides are the same length. So instantly, as you can see, it gave it volume. Now the hair looks bigger. So before I mess with this part, I'm gonna go ahead and curl the hair so that we can see what kind of style we're working with. Thank you. 
So with the sections that I cut for the longer layers, I'm going to flip this hair backwards. And if you use a flat iron like this, it's going to give you that tight curl. It's gonna be more like flipping it up on this side, just twirling it this way. So I'm gonna start with one side. I'm gonna start with this side and cut this way. And I am not a complicated person at all. So this is gonna be like one easy step for me. So I find shortcuts for everything. I'm gonna split this in half. One clean, even section. Okay, you wanna make sure it's even. And then I am going to create the bang. It stops right at my cheekbone. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. to curl this area and I'm gonna swoop it this way like a downward twirl So the key to get that volume is when you curl it, you wanna take it straight up like this. Take a curling iron, not a flat iron. And for this side, you go straight up, which is my right side. And then I'm gonna curl it like this, bring it back around this way, like so. It's easier if you're a beginner to just use the curling iron. So I'm gonna do this side again. Take it straight up, go over to your right from your left side, swoop it down, and slowly release it on around. This is what the outcome is. Maybe it's the volume of the hair, but I think it's turned out really pretty. So I will be sure to put this wig down below. This wig is very gorgeous. I absolutely love the density, the volume, all of that is very comfortable. The lace, yeah, very nice. Do not forget to subscribe and also be sure to check out my previous videos if you would like to know how I install my wigs. And I will see you all back in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.